Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Nick Plays Mass Effect Andromeda. We finished the Remnant Art Archive. I don't remember what they're called. You can tell, like, I've only been to doing two episodes at a time because I'm just really exhausted. Also, I will apologize for my audio quality because I'm still trying to figure out how to set up this microphone. Huh. <sighs> But yeah, hey, welcome welcome back to uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go s set up something. We... We did the, the Remnant Archive. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Yeah. It's weird to think that if we pull this off, everything we're looking at could change. She's got a point. Vision paintings of future Eos. Green fields, rivers, forests. Wonder what it'll really be like down the line. So basically what happens when we went into that remnant archive thing. Um we were able to kind of fix the air. Extract minerals via your mining interface. Where can Okay. I What is happening? Whoa, okay, nomad. No. Um yeah, so we we repaired the we repaired the uh the dub 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 the atmosphere thing. And now we are trying to we're supposed to like find like a new place for us to live. And I think we found it previously. We found it in one of the previous episodes, like where a good place would be. Cat ahead. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that Drac? Hey, Drac. We're in a safe zone, so that's weird. I'm just gonna splatter people because splattering people is great. I mean, as long as I don't splatter track, I'm fine. Oops. Whoops, yep. That's the best thing to say. Okay, that's a radiation zone. I don't want to extract. There we go. Ryder, about time you joined the party. Cool, here's track. I, yeah, I'm still trying to remember how to play this game, uh, because, as I said, you can tell it's been, it's been a little while. And for me to, like, jump between different games with different kinds of controls, it's, it messes with my brain a lot. Good job. So, there is still radiation on this planet. We kind of tried to fix that last episode. That fight was... fun. You're telling me. You could really handle yourself, yeah. kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing... So, I think Drax's gonna jo join our team. Had your number all wrong. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all. This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, drill is, um, Thane species. To waste that. If, for those of you who don't remember. Thane from Mass point Effect point 2 and Mass Effect 3. Okay, so Drax joining us. So I think there's like six companions you can have total. So we have... Sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? Fairwinds Basin. Lowest radiation count in the area. 
bit of hope. We can work with that. Radiation within. So we're setting up a, a base station here because it has the lowest radiations in the region. Where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost. Oh, so I have to choose this now? The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the party. I'm going to set this up really badly and it's not going to end well. Military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? I say scientific. Aren't we here to explore? Vitra has a point. Military. There's too many threats out here. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. I don't like that. If I go with military, that's going to be like, people are going to be like, oh, he's he wants to attack the Andromeda, uh, Andromeda galaxy. If I go with scientific, people are going to be like, oh, he just wants to research. I could go with Vitra because Vitra says go scientific, but then I forgot what her name is. She's saying go military. We're going to go scientific. Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation and our future. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. So we set up a scientific outpost. Nice. That's the first outpost in the game that we've set up. Right? Yeah, foothold. First, uh, set up your first. Yeah, establish an outpost. Yeah, EOS is ready. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. <laughs> nice. And with the more outposts we set up, the more people will come out of cryo sleep. Especially, like, f uh, from the, uh... August Brad, Operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. Eh, Mayor Bradley. We're ready to make the most of what you uh, That's weird. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. Yeah. I hear that. Prodromos. That's what we're called. Prodromos on Eos. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Oh, that's at, at was Addison the Eos is far from golden. I'm pretty sure Addison was the one who's like, yeah, she's in charge of the, setting the new colonies and stuff. First step. Okay, shut up, Addison. No one cares. The Nexus. I warned them. Hoping was irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. Do I trust her? Because she said she didn't trust me. Because she's in charge of getting stuff settled. I don't know what I want to pick. What are you playing at? Seems like being my friend is suddenly valuable. Fair assumption. Well, with the way that she treated us when we arrived on the Nexus, yeah, of course we're gonna be like Reality this. Rider, you bought us time, but one outpost on a long shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on something else? The nav point from the vault. Oh, they're called vaults, not now it gets things. Complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. We didn't come to a new galaxy to argue about who's right. Got a point. Got us this far. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. I really want to get rid of this armor. Tan. I don't want to go talk to Tan. Why? Okay, so this is... So, yeah, we have to... Okay, so we have to speak with Tan. Uh, we can't do the thing. Ugh. 
So this is prodromos. Okay, cool. Nice. I do like this. So this is this is prodromos. There's our ship. There's our vehicle somewhere. There it is. So we could do a lot of cool things. Uh, Milky Way research, Helios, remnant technology. I want better armor. Actually, this is actually pretty cool. Like how we can we can upgrade a lot of stuff. I want the N7. Uh, N7 helmet. Unfortunately, I can't upgrade anything else now. <laughs> Go me for um, doing that. Whoops. So I guess we're just gonna keep. We're gonna. I'm gonna be researching a lot of new things. I guess. I don't like the cat stuff or that what about weapons I don't know I don't know there's a lot of things I could do here oh my gosh there's so many a sorry sword Krogan hammer. Oh, they had the Black Widow. Nice. Okay. That was one of my favorite weapons from two and three. Uh, I, I don't think I ever got the Valiant. Scorpion pistols back. Hornet SMG. The Hurricane. Oh, yeah. We got a lot of good stuff. I'm not going to go too much into this right now because, wow. Well, And the katana shotgun. I don't want to go too far into that. Um, so we have to let we have to give time for. What are you doing? For the air to clear up. You good? I guess they are. Cause yeah, there's water here that they can drink. It's red. And um, they said we have to go talk to what's his name. I don't even remember at this point. Talk to Tan. Talk to. We'll come back. We will be coming back to Prodomos at some point. I'm pretty sure he's in here. Yeah. Someone left a warning. Looks like a work crew thinks they can take control of the remnant. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> okay. I got to figure out where we're going. I don't care about this. Uh, we're doing that one. Work crew rosters are posted publicly. The data pad mentioned Med Bay. A little work we could find. So, so it looks like there's going to be a lot. This one feels more of an RPG in a way. So I'm going to have a lot more to do on each planet. So like we are we are settling and whatever. Um, and we get to come back and there's like little side quests we can do. Yeah, we're going to leave. Um, is go. thanks Callow. Pretty sure Callow was a Solarian. All clear. I don't like that. That little weird wave thing. Anyways. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. <laughs> and I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. 
That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is <laughs> That's funny. In the skate park, one's in the kitchen. On Eos. Besides establishing our first viable set up the first thing on EOS. EOS. We discovered the remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame Shut up, Leanne. Poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your Cora, own Cora, shut up. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus back to the task at hand. I think Cora is going to be going off my, my team. Question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. Ah. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. Cora's not happy about that. But again, I know Krogan are known for one thing. It's getting along. <laughs> but not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drax, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. Yeah, that was awkward. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna teach you to Okay, whatever. So now that we're off EOS and we're going back to the Nexus, we're going to do that next episode. Stay tuned for more Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, make sure you guys follow my socials and my Twitch for more content. And stay tuned as we... Yeah, as we do more in the galaxy. Korra is probably going to be off the squad now because now that now that I realize she doesn't like the Krogan, in a way. Cause I, first I was like, oh yeah, she's going to be the romance interest. No, no, she's a space racist as, like Ashley, so... And we saw what happened to Ashley in Mass Effect 1. So, yeah, go back to Vermeer. If you guys, if you guys remember that episode, that was a long time. That was probably like two years ago that I played that. And I rushed through there. But yeah, Vermeer. And there's a nuke. So that's about all you get to know. So I'm pretty sure we're going to have Vitra and Drac on our team now because Liam just seems meh. Cora. No, don't like you. PB's cool, but... Nah. Anyways. So, we'll be back in the next episode. So again, stay tuned for more. Thank you guys for watching this one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.